this is the weekly horoscope for Scorpio and happy birthday my Scorpions I hope you have a blessed solar return yes yes I know I know babies I know I know okay you have a stellum in your first house going on and then we have the lunar eclipse on the 28th so I would pay attention this week to, to this energy because this is gonna be the energy for the next two weeks okay with this eclipse and the stellum in your house and the stellum in your 12th house so you have like a lot of energy here a lot of self-awareness about who you are and then on top of that that damn stellum in your first house is opposing Jupiter in retrograde Uranus in retrograde hello okay <laughs> hello goodbye okay so check out I've been telling her all the signs to check out the north and south node okay so check out this the north node in the seventh house to see how the south node is going to affect you I feel like you're gonna have your Oscar Wilde moment I don't know if you guys remember last year when I was talking about the north node in Taurus okay and the south node in, in Scorpio and how Oscar Wilde has the north node in Taurus and the south node in Scorpio and what happened to him he wrote a book about Ernest the importance of being Ernest in a play and it was like the rise and fall of Oscar Wilde like that because he wanted to be vengeful so at this time do not be vengeful with this energy because it's gonna backfire on you like nobody's business okay so just because you may have gotten away with certain things a few times several times or like for centuries <laughs> I don't know a decade um, yeah it's not it's not gonna happen right now okay so I just really wouldn't try to do certain things you know be above the law kind of situations because you're not gonna get away with it okay so even though we can be shady at this time just humble it down namaste it down all right not the best time to try to get your revenge you know hurt people hurt people and it's gonna backfire on you you know who wants that and then who wants to be like the one that gets backfired on and then they're gonna be like oh my god you like so deserve that because that was like your karma you know, those are your karma you're like totally like satan you know who wants that i don't want that you know so you don't want that no okay i mean gosh you have a great chance to get a clear picture of where you're headed in life it is a good time for making decisions this is often a very busy time lots of communications lots of errands you could find yourself more out and about than usual okay you may be more opinionated than ever because you got that stinger and that stinger they got mars in it i think it got mars in it let me check hold on all systems are processing wait for the next astrologer <laughs> all righty let me see oh i gotta write out a whole situation I got, i'm using solar fox got that back up thank god okay so i am available for yearly reports but i'm not doing the tarot with them mm -mm. because it takes too damn long because i realize that a lot of you have interceptions okay which means like your planets share the houses so i include the interceptions in the thing so it's like almost every day for some of you so it takes too long too long darlings yes so you have mars in your first house at this time i'm looking at it and it's opposing the earth which this week on the 26th is going to go, go into Taurus. Um, the beginning of the week till the 25th is in Aries. And then um, in your sixth house, you have Eros, North Node, Chiron, and you have Selena here as well as a secondary planet um, in the sign of Aries. So you have like a stellum in this area of your life at this time. So you could be sitting on, it's a busy time for you with what you can control okay so this is a time where you do benefit through symbiotic relationships again you're very opinionated you got your scorpio stinger out um because you're too busy expressing yourself make sure you take a time to listen to other people i feel like you could be overlooking important ideas your mind is clear and you're capable of focusing and concentrating this week you can be aggressive or blunt in your speech so you might be blocked on media or social media or banned for things that you say okay it could be quite challenging for you to have a healthy dialogue with other people you are forthright and this could be refreshing and offensive to others um, time to make plans for the future to deal with contracts accounting issues legal matters you can be aggressive again blunt and you can take things very personally and you're very defensive at this time you cannot take constructive criticism with this energy so watch your emotional self then Venus and Virgo in your 11th house is forming a kite energy in the 11th first and fifth and ninth house 
Advice received now is likely to be good. The best advice is free advice, so take it. Friends may have more compassion and helpful to you. You may get a lot of invitations to join a group or organization. You can be at the right place at the right time. Friends can be proving their loyalty for you. Time for networking and creating alliances and meeting new people but at the same time i feel like there's going to be a lot of conversations here that are promising and stuff like that possibly lucrative for some of you but it's all talk and no damn action okay so these people could be just talking out of their asses to make themselves feel important you know like one of those people one of those people who pretend to be rich but then they're broke as okay and one of them okay so make sure that you get a check or some kind of schedule made up before they go running their mouths acting like they're important. Or <laughs> if you really want to whip out that stinger, be like, are you just talking to sound important right now? Ow! Ooh, this is why I can't play with Scorpio because I'm just like. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Are you talking to sound important right now? You know, so seeing is damn believing. So don't go banking on things that other people are saying to you at this time. Because again, somebody's just trying to sound important. All right. Um, so make sure you get a schedule or a check or a date. Um, something to see that it's really happening. You can have a connection at this time with the people that you're meeting but at the same time don't go banking on it you could be reconnecting with people from your past from a previous job that you did and you could be working with them again and you're romanticizing your alliances you can have a lightning um, conversation and exciting conversations for some of you this could be like um, hearing about somebody that you did have an experience with with and this person may have passed or something like that and you could be showing all the pictures how you known this person and blah 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 so that could be happening here as well or you haven't heard from somebody in a while and you could be hearing from them this week and it's just going to bring up all gushy feelings about them because you like spending time with them and then on the 25th you may feel out of step socially with those around you and have a hard time fitting in so this could be like getting a new job at this time this could be dealing with like a party and being in a crowd and you have to observe everybody because you could feel socially awkward or you could be joining a group or organization and you could just be feeling out of sorts or out of place your uniqueness seems to work to put you at odds with others sudden changes affect the direction of your career that are usually undesirable impediments to career advancement surface creating greater fiction between you and superiors your superiors may think you as a maverick and you have a tendency to assert your independence you may be unexpectedly called to serve others in a way that interferes with your own personal ambitions yet if you find ways to balance your personal needs for growth and advancement and your devotion to a higher mission you could serve in a humanitarian way not the easy energy time for you or this could be an unpopular energy time for you because you're just open and honest and some people can't take it and you don't have no damn patience for stupid you just don't and it's like anytime somebody like says something stupid after you said it like 20 different times you know you kind of like whip out the stinger and the stinger comes out like this and then next thing you know pow and it's like damn it use your damn brain use your tinker why aren't you thinking tink 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 and it's like damn now you're bleeding have a tissue you know you don't mean to be mean it just happens you know that's all then on the 20 26 let me see this is a popular energy time for you all eyes are on you literally no matter where you go people are looking at you Ta -da! all right so this could be a lot of conversations at the gym going on do they love me do they want to be with me okay because everybody's staring at you so yeah I wouldn't go reading into it this can be a busy time for you with your social life because you are celebrating your birthday season this can also be a great time this could be busy with your career or you could be more about about your social life a great time to mingle if you're single hey you'll tend to pursue life self life um, less selfishly now and you want to include others in your plans so you're definitely going out a little bit more than usual you will be more sympathetic and connected with other people's concerns because of this it's a good time for group involvement most tend to avoid confrontation with others for the sake of peace so you're gonna have heartburn because you're gonna be holding your breath and you want to freak out on some people but then some people that you really need so this is not the easiest energy this is a time of potential recognition and accomplishment superiors are likely to be impressed with your efforts your relationships with them 
him and father are likely to be improved. This is an excellent time for a promotion or a raise. You may have a hard time keeping secrets. What you do now has a tendency to be, be spotlighted, so everybody's going to know. Or you're going to bring your drama to work or to school, and whatever is going on at home, you're going to talk about it, and then everybody in God's country going to know. Okay, so... Yeah. Um, then on the 27th, you may be the object of someone's affection. Others may take notice of you or your attractiveness. Personal popularity increases. Often a time of isolation and solitude. Depression may be hard to ward off. You may feel disoriented while running errands around town. Um, your mood is likely to be lower than usual or your energies are lower than usual. Avoid scattering your energies. Initiative is best left for others. You are prone to make mountains out of molehills. You struggle to keep a balance viewpoint but you become fanatical in your pursuits or your beliefs so you can be super intense on Friday okay and very blunt and forthright you may have a tendency to overstate your position and exaggerate and offend others with careless or ill-considered speech your concentration and focus is sharp now and you have the ability to be very persuasive you may be more quiet and to yourself and not letting everybody in not letting everybody know your secrets or what is it that motivates you or propels you you're not into that hell now you're mental you have great mental power you're a deep thinker now you um you can have certain people figure it out or you could be calling people out on their stuff at this time boom because you're open and honest right now all right okay don't do that to me because i'll ban you the knight of coins um ooh, for some of you here i feel like so somebody's trying to rehash something with you because as i connect with this energy i'm hearing remember Remember, you know, so somebody's trying to rehash something with you or this could be a situation here where you have met somebody in the past, but you don't know where to put the face. OK. Ooh, OK. Um, the six of cups. Ah, reconnection. Aha. OK, you you're going to meet somebody from your past, but they have that face, but you don't know where to put them. But the other person knows where you two met. OK. Oh my gosh, so specific. Four of Cups, you could be delving in self-care and self-help and like, you know, gratitude is the attitude. Your perspective and outlook on life is going to change. This could be a life is going to change. This could be a happy energy time for you. You could be delving more into self-care. You could be changing your looks at this time. The Seven of Cups, lots of thoughts of future, future coming up at this time. For some of you, you could be starting an online business with this energy as well the devil card brings about endings for some of you this could be a divorce happening here with this energy or quitting your job okay um the page of coins the mind on the money and the money on the mind i feel for some of you this could be on the job training coming up with this energy the five of coins i feel like you could be very ambitious for power now and you could be very aggressive so this could have been like on the job training that was supposed to happen and it didn't and now you're pushing for it and you really are very intense about making things happen in your life at this time the death card pluto energy right here so certain things may no longer apply in your life at this time so you could be starting over in certain areas of your life or certain foundations could be breaking at this time the three of cups i feel for some of you here this could be celebrating with friends and family again lots of communications with friends and family because of your birthday month okay so you could be more in communications with friends and family at this time um the king of coins dealing with trials and tribulations more money coming in for you so this could be some kind of money incentives you could be getting money gifts um, from family and friends so you could go buy drinks especially those of you who turn 21 happy birthday so it could be something like that happening here so there's more money around you at this time with this energy the this card divorce quitting your job ending a relationship friendship at this time with this energy having to start over in certain areas of your life because of this ending as well the two of cups this could be getting a divorce all right um for some of you you do have an intense connection with a potential love interest here but it may not happen anytime soon with the knight of coins okay the nine of cups my yes card to whatever question i did not answer is yes the queen of cups okay i see you having a second childhood this is a fun energy time for you as well also with this energy go with the flow the ace of cups love is around the corner for you okay and it could be with somebody that you know with this energy this is new love too so this is somebody that you may have a crush on or you wanted to talk to the nine of swords get the hell out of your head it's your birthday month you could be dealing with chargebacks 
okay if you own your own business be careful with credit card scams or online scams or somebody could be um, doing a chargeback on you at this time and stealing your money the full card I feel with this energy here that this could be don't worry about it so whatever you're worrying about is more in your head than in your reality Okay, so try to let that situation go. The Eight of Swords, yeah, you're going through it at this time with this energy here. Um, for some of you here, I feel like you could be triggered by certain people in your life at this time. And it could be a hard, emotionally um, hard, a, a very like difficult time for you emotionally. For some of you, you're not over certain, the past. And you're not over certain things that happened in the past with this energy. For some of you, you are emotionally confused at this time and it's, and it's keeping you stuck somewhere in your life. So you have a very difficult time moving forward with this energy. For others of you, this could be um, a love interest and this could be taboo love okay uh, meaning like for some reason your parents don't like this person for you and but you're gonna run off and do your own thing anyways with this person and then get in trouble for it okay all right the page of swords I feel with this energy here that somebody could be watching you closely somebody could be spying on you at this time with this energy as well so be careful with that um, energy all right I feel like for some of you that you know because you have the stellar in Scorpio you're more open and honest about your feelings and at this time you're going to talk about your feelings and you don't care who the hell you hurt with this energy because you're at the point here with certain people that you give up okay you give up with the patience and you just gonna whoop that tail out and whoop them across the face with it okay the seven of coins something heavy on your mind so you might do this <laughs> The King of Cups, you are reconnecting with somebody from your past at this time with this energy for sure. For some of you, you could be dealing with somebody that has drug addictions or is, ooh, I'm hearing a drug dealer. What? Okay. I'm also hearing you could be dealing with somebody that has um, alcoholism and stuff like that. So they could be going through it emotionally here as well. You need to go with the flow this week. You have a lot of cup cards here. So you could be feeling things very intensely at this time. You could be very restless with this energy because you're depriving yourself of certain things that you want and now it's starting to drive you a little bit crazy the king of wands i feel for some of you here you could be stuck dealing with somebody that's stuck in their ways of thinking so there could be power struggles between you and somebody else lots of men in your cards lots of authority figures in your cards with this energy the world card the world works in your favor i feel like for some of you you need to be careful about butting heads with those in authority because you could be they could either make you or break you and i feel like for some of you here they could be putting you in jeopardy with your career because you could be butting heads with them because they're watching you really closely the king of swords yeah be careful with the with the men at this time i feel like they're watching you a little bit closely maybe more closely than usual with this energy i feel like also you could be very analytical in your way of thinking i feel also that you know you need to cock those brains before you shoot that mouth off because you're really gonna hurt other people at this time i feel like for some of you here that i do see um some kind of resolution between you and another person is coming um here as well okay i do see confrontation here um this week and the moon card you could be romanticizing certain relationships in your life at this time you see what you want to see at this time so there's my truth there's your truth and then there's god's truth okay i love you my scorpions show your love and support to your girl marie by liking subscribing and sharing kisses